fishing is considered one of the world's most dangerous occupations. In 1999, the International Labour Organization estimated that fishing caused more than 24,000 deaths per year. Although Pacific Island countries have some of the highest sea accident rates in the world, most island government fisheries agencies have only limited involvement with safety issues. The data is insufficient to statistically demonstrate which activities are particularly risky. But there is a general perception that offshore trolling for tuna in small outward powered skiffs is responsible for many, if not most, fishing accidents at sea. Small-scale fisheries are a lifeline for local coastal communities in many of the Pacific Island countries. And so it is imperative that we emphasize the importance of safety at sea and the need for simple safety precautions to be followed. Many lives have been lost at sea in the Pacific due to bad weather, ignorance and negligence by boat operators who did not have basic safety equipment on board their small crafts. The SPC EU DevFish 2 project focuses on assisting small-scale fisheries development in the Pacific. This is in recognition of the significant role of coastal fisheries sector plays for local rural community livelihoods and sustenance. Across the region, small-scale fisheries provide vital income for some 50% of coastal households. SPC's Division of Fisheries Aquaculture and Marine Ecosystem, or FAME, undertakes technical fishing programs and as part of these trainings, coordinates awareness workshops on safety at sea during its practical fishing trainings. Its ability to save the life of a family member, a friend, a neighbor. The SPC EU DevFish project has supported an added value to SPC's regional safety at sea campaign for local coastal fisheries by procuring sea safety equipment for small-scale fishes. These safety gears in the form of emergency grab bag kits. Each grab bag is fully kitted with a personal locator beacon, a strobe light with batteries, a compact medical kit, a signaling mirror and whistle, a rescue laser, a sea rescue streamer, a marine radio with support pack, a sea anchor, two manual inflatable life jackets, a directional compass and two emergency thermal blankets. The emergency grab bag kit ensures that fishes and small craft operators have convenient access to basic sea safety equipment that is easy to carry and transport on small vessels. SPC's Division of Fisheries, Aquaculture and Marine Ecosystem has been promoting a standard emergency safety kit through its trainings and country-level support. This kit includes 12 different gear, which are Handheld Personal Locator Beacon or PLB with GPS a PLB is an emergency position indicating radio beacon, which when activated, sends an SOS signal. This is linked to an International Rescue Operation Center, which then relays this SOS information to its networks near the countries where the distress signal is located. Local authorities verify the signal and discharge rescue efforts accordingly to the signal's location. Registering the PLBs helps identify the user. The PLB provided in the kit is small, tough and buoyant in water. Strobe light with batteries. This is like a powerful torch with a very intense light that can cut through the foulest conditions and is visible up to 3.2 kilometers. The ACR Firefly 3 Solar Strobe Light that is in the kit is manually operated and has a 360 degree rotating radius. This is good in situations where the distressed person is too exhausted to lift his or her hand and point in the target direction. Features of the strobe light are waterproof to 10 meters, 8 hour minimum continuous operating life for the strobe, state of the art lamp and lens combo for high intensity flash, large sliding switch allows for easy operation by gloved hands, Specially designed base platform allows the unit to stand upright easily. Stainless steel retainer securely attaches battery door to the case. Integral lashing loops provide a secure anchor point. It's ideal for life vests, safety harnesses, float coats, work suits, 
immersion suits, backpacks and flight suits. Handheld VHF radio. This is for close range communication when you're within coverage range and for communicating with a ground office, such as an emergency frequency with rescue boats or airplanes. The model packed in the kit is water resistant and is powered by replaceable batteries. You can take spare AA batteries with you, but you can't charge rechargeable batteries on a life raft, so make sure you charge them before taking it out. Compact Medical Kit A compact medical kit with basic essentials like plasters and bandages helps treat cuts whilst at sea, so there is no significant blood loss. The painkillers help ease pain when encountered whilst at sea. Other basic items are also provided. A Signaling Mirror a signaling mirror is included that reflects light towards potential rescue efforts such as planes, boats and other fishing boats. Make sure this has a rope and a small flotation attached so that it floats if dropped in the water and you can retrieve it. A whistle to catch attention is also provided. A rescue laser. This is a battery operated handheld laser baton. It emits powerful red colored rays in all directions. This is better than the one-directional torch-style laser sticks. A rescue laser is less hazardous and has replaced the old flare sticks. This should also have a rope and a small flotation attached so that it floats if dropped in the water. Sea Rescue Streamer This streamer is like a long red carpet spread along the surface of the sea. One end is tied onto the distressed person's body or the boat. From a bird's eye view, it is very visible and easily catches the attention of overflying planes that can spot and radio your location. Sea Anchor or Drogue This is a gear that works as a braking system for all crafts. Typically, this is used while fishing and riding the current. It slows down the push of the small craft. In situations of distress, such as engine failure, the same application can be undertaken to slow the boat from being washed further offshore by the current. Sea anchors come in various sizes, depending on the size of the boat. It's important to note that lines need to be tied to both the front and back end of the drogues. When pulling the drogue back into the boat, pull in from the small hole end first since the open end will be too heavy from holding water. Manual Inflatable Life Jackets This should be worn as soon as you board the craft and it must always be worn whilst out at sea. Map Compass The compass normally aids fishers to navigate their way back to the location they want. In the event of distress, it helps keep track of the direction you are drifting. Again, it is important to make sure that it is tied to a life jacket or grab bag and also has a flotation fixed on. Thermal Blankets At sea, it is always very cold. When a person in a distressed situation is exposed to cold, having a thermal blanket wrapped around you can insulate your body from cold and help prevent hypothermia, which is dangerously low body temperature. The Grab Bag a good grab bag should be reasonably affordable to all boat operators. Its size should fit all 12 of the emergency items and can be easily carried on board a small craft at sea. The bag should be made of weatherproof canvas material and when zipped tight, it should be buoyant to work as a temporary flotation device that will float free of the boat in a capsized situation, giving the distressed boat operator the opportunity to retrieve it and to have sufficient time to hold Hold on to the bag to access the items in it. With this emergency kit on board, you will be at less risk when fishing. The kit will help ensure that you come home from the sea to your family and friends.